imagine everything around you, from the chair you're sitting on, to the stars in the night sky, being part of a detailed, virtual creation. This is the essence of the simulation theory, a hypothesis that has not only sparked debates among scientists and philosophers, but has also influenced popular culture and inspired countless works of fiction. The roots of simulation theory stretch back centuries, with philosophers like René Descartes contemplating the nature of reality and our ability to perceive it. However, it was only with the dawn of the digital age that this theory began to take a more concrete form. The advent of sophisticated computer simulations has led us to question the very fabric of our existence. The key figure in bringing simulation theory into mainstream discussion is Swedish philosopher Nick Bostrom. He proposed a trilemma, suggesting that one of the following must be true. Either human civilizations will never reach a stage where they can create highly realistic simulations, or advanced civilizations have no interest in creating such simulations, or we are almost certainly living in a simulation ourselves. Let's delve into each of these propositions. The first one contemplates our technological limitations. Could it be possible that no civilization, ours included, will ever be technologically advanced enough to create such complex simulations? This leads us into a discussion about the limits of technological growth and our current trajectory. The second proposition questions the interest of post-human civilizations in creating ancestral simulations. Why would a highly advanced civilization want to simulate their past? Here, we can explore various motivations, from scientific research to entertainment, and even the possibility of preserving history in a digital format. The third and most intriguing proposition suggests that we are currently living in a simulation. This idea is bolstered by the rapid advancement of technology, particularly in virtual reality and artificial intelligence. As our own simulations become more sophisticated, it becomes a less far-fetched idea that a more advanced civilization could have created the world we live in. But how can we possibly gather evidence for such a staggering hypothesis? Proponents of the simulation theory often turn to quantum mechanics for clues. For instance, the behavior of particles, which seem to exist in multiple states simultaneously until observed, is sometimes cited as a potential hint of a simulated universe. This brings us into a fascinating intersection of physics and philosophy, where we ponder the nature of reality itself. Yet, despite its intriguing premises, the simulation theory is not without its skeptics. Many argue that it remains a philosophical and speculative idea without concrete evidence. The theory also raises profound philosophical and ethical questions. If we are indeed in a simulation, what does that mean for concepts like free will, consciousness, and our understanding of existence? As we dive deeper, let's not forget the importance of a balanced perspective. It's vital to approach such a mind-bending topic with a blend of open-minded curiosity and healthy skepticism. While exploring the realms of possibility, we should also anchor ourselves in the search for empirical evidence. Now, let's take a moment to engage in a reflective exercise. Imagine just for a moment that we are indeed living in a simulation. How would this realization impact your view of life? Would it diminish the value of your experiences or would it add a layer of intrigue to your existence? Would it change your interactions with the world and the people around you? In wrapping up, whether we are living in a real or simulated world, the simulation theory opens up a plethora of philosophical inquiries. It encourages us to examine the nature of our reality, challenges our understanding of consciousness, and even pushes us to contemplate the future of technological advancements.